Coach, welcome back, and uh, why don't you give us an overview of the game, kind of where your team is and what you're looking for on Saturday. Well, we had a, uh, it was good for us to get together in February and March for the qualifiers. It's, uh, it was an opportunity we don't, we don't usually have to, to get continuity. Usually we have a November, uh, a November series over in Europe, and then we're off uh, until June. So it allowed us a bit more continuity, and uh, hopefully that shows up on, uh, on Saturday uh, against Scotland. But, um, you know, the guys are looking forward to it. We're under no illusions of who we're playing. We've, uh, you know, you hear people talk about Scotland's in a bad way and stuff, but we have no illusions. Uh, they're, they're a top team in the world. They're, they're a Six Nations team, and we know it's in front of us. And uh, we, we certainly... I'm looking forward to that match, and those are the matches that the United States and, and countries like us need to play. And uh, the last two years have been fantastic with Ireland and Italy. Uh, Todd Cleaver, captain from the USA side. Uh, talk about it, if you would uh, tell us about the team and what, uh, what you look forward to, if anything, coming to Houston and uh, playing the uh, team from Scotland. Yeah, no, first of all, just welcome to, to the Scottish team. Um, hopefully you're enjoying the heat. Uh, I heard they came in on the, on the weekend. We just got in uh, last night, so uh, we had a good run today. Uh, boys are excited for it. We uh, we always uh, uh, play hard and physical in front of a big crowd, and uh, we're looking forward to that on Saturday. So uh, we know it's going to be uh, be a big challenge, and uh, we're a bit of an underdog against a, a great side like Scotland. But uh, we're looking forward to playing some uh, some good rugby and showing uh, USA uh, what rugby's all about. We're all fans of the Six Nations and the great tournament and you know, they're playing against some of the best teams in the world. So uh, you know, we're able to watch that footage and we know there's some uh, dangers on the on the weekend that we have to uh, to deal with. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna put a pinpoint of what we're uh, we're focusing but there, across the board there's uh, there's a few players that we've uh, targeted that we know that uh, are dangerous. And, and if Vern was to take you to one side after this uh, press announcement um, and ask you where your danger men were, or what would you tell them? <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you on Sunday morning. <laughs> I can tell you on Sunday morning. <laughs> Mike, where do you see the uh, this game standing in the development of uh, USA rugby? Vern was talking about it developing over the years. How far much further can it go, and how much further, how quickly is it getting there? Well, I think one of the advantages of being in, in the position that we're at, um, we have a, a hell of a lot of growth here in front of us. Um, you know, we've come a long way, but we have a big country, we have a, a big population uh, who are sports crazy, and people have been taken to rugby tremendously. So these types of games are fantastic because they promote our sport in a great way, and it gives our, our young players people to watch, like Todd and Chris Walls and Mike Petri and... You know, if I, I'm going to grow up and be a nine, and I'm 10 years old now and nine years old when they're playing in this country and starting, I want to look at these guys as my role models and playing some of the top teams in the world. That's what, that's what this game means to us and, and rugby in our country.